what is going on gozi here and welcome back to the channel on the last video we ended up warping the intake valves uh, I, I think the term is tulipped all right so i had, uh, had to take the heads off uh sent them back to mast and i was hoping that this video we would have gotten the heads back uh got the car somewhat assembled and prepping to uh, get the car back on the road but that's not the case so i've been following up with mast for the past week and a half now and uh, they've been waiting for the intake valves to come in they ended up having to uh order a more durable set which kind of had me scratching my head right uh because when i ordered the heads uh i communicated uh power goals and i thought they had it all figured out i thought they knew what to put in the heads as far as specs uh that would make everything you know jive but uh you know it just leaves you scratching your head you know when you get told oh we found a more durable uh stainless steel uh intake valve but either way uh I didn't lose the motor because of that, so you know I'm not too pressed about it. Hopefully, I'm getting taken care of this second time around. All right, and it's no biggie because that also gives me uh, a little bit of uh, time to take care of uh, other things here in the garage. As you can see, we have the uh, piston uh, removed from the Silverado. Uh, I've already gone through the piston. Sorry, the uh, connecting rod bearings. And uh, it's kind of one of those things, right, where, you know, you do a cam, uh, a cam swap and you try not to look at the cam bearings because, you know, you might not like what you see. Yeah, it's kind of uh, what this is. So, went ahead and I looked at uh, all of the uh, connecting rod bearings and found a couple that uh, doesn't look too good. So, I'm going to probably end up having to uh, mic that out and get something to order for those. Uh, we did also receive the uh, piston ring grinder and currently waiting on the piston rings themselves along with the uh mm, i'm gonna mess this one up what is it the uh, stone grinder thingy no no not the grinder uh shoot i already i already forgot but it's pretty much uh it's like a stone hone and it's pretty much used for the uh, cross cross hatching of the cylinder walls and i'm gonna show you guys just in a second so i don't know if it was from other issues but in those walls on the Silverado, literally smooth as glass. And I'm pretty sure that is also part of the issue as to why the oil ring isn't sealing and it's burning oil. So we uh, swapped out the heads because I was thinking that, because I had I had did the valve seal, then fixed the issue. Then I swapped out the heads thinking that it might have been the valve guides because literally you, you, know, you all take the intake off and there's a pull of oil just on top of the valves. And my thought process was how messed up can, can these piston rings be where it's literally just throwing oil everywhere and some of it gets on top of the valve and then when the valves are closed with the car shut off it's like literally like this like this 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 much oil but uh yeah so swap the heads out but the uh, spark plugs were still falling so that only left one more thing in the equation and that was a piston ring so I went ahead and i uh, popped the pistons uh, out the top, undid the oil pan, undid the uh, connecting rod caps, and I was able to pop them out. So uh, reverse order is how it's going to go in. Uh, and like I said, still still waiting on parts for that. I'm going to show you guys what we're working with back here. I ended up doing the job uh, in my backyard. So uh, literally, uh, when they say backyard build, yeah, this is this is one of those. So as you can see, you got the got the truck in the back, and I already went ahead and I. Uh, plugged up the hose just so you know random birds don't come you know taking a shit in there but i don't know if you guys can see that <sighs> popped out dropped the oil pan i'm not gonna get under there dropped the oil pan and i was able to uh, undo it from the bottom you can see a little bit of the crank from the bottom there all right so just just pretty much waiting on parts uh, from this point and while we're waiting on parts i decided to tackle another uh, ls job here we have a 07 z06 and for the uh heads cam exhaust and tune special all right customer brought it in with a good bit of the parts some of them i'm gonna have to probably place on order as i go uh i.e uh push rod uh lifters i have to see i'm not sure what brand it is but uh zz whatever so but yeah then like i said we'll all figure it out as we go we got the exhaust not particular on what brand it is but i believe these are the headers along with the x pipe um it should pick up some gains over the uh, factory factory setup with the cats and everything so it's a fairly fairly stock car i think he said only uh changes is made is the uh, quick disconnect for the battery terminal uh along with 
I don't know if that's an iPad or... Either way, it looks pretty dope. I think it says it's connected to the OBD2, shows them some of the engine parameters, which is always, always good to monitor when you start doing some performance changes on the car. All right, so I think the first thing I'm gonna be doing is taking the hood off and then just, you know, taking my time and slowly diving in there. A lot of moving parts in the garage. I'm gonna, gonna try to, you know, stay on top of things, still uh, helping uh, plan the baby shower, which is in about eight days, uh, along with the gender reveal. Still, still wondering what it is. Hopefully, hopefully it's a boy. All right, and this is what we got going on. With our vet, like I said, still, still went on the heads. The uh, ARP, six to five pro pro studs uh came in all right or uh, i already had them pre-staged thinking that the heads would be in the no town but it's no biggie so uh once those uh come in we'll be throwing them in uh comedic hay gaskets are up here as well this bad boy down here i'm probably gonna start this baby up just so i can get a before and after uh sound clip uh, for the owner, I'm sure he's gonna want to hear it. I mean, I'm sure he knows what his car sounds like stock, but you know, just to have a comparison video side by side definitely helps. All right, stick around. Make sure we're in neutral here. Clutch in. Good stuff. Nice and quiet. My neighbors would love this. This is what my car sounded like. <laughs> ah. Turn this fan on. Get it cooling down. And then we'll dive. We'll dive right into it. Stay tuned. All right, just a quick update. I'm gonna be calling it a night here shortly. Go spend time with the old lady. All right, so took out the front section here, radiator, all that good stuff, power steering pump. Rocker arm push rods are out, intake manifold as well, obviously. Undid the uh, headers, both sides. So next thing to do now would be to uh, crack the heads, take those off, and then I'm gonna be lowering the uh, subframe. Only because I don't have enough room on the side. Got a toolbox here, and I got my vet on this side. Uh, the other option would have been to slide the rack and paint out of the way, but I'm gonna, uh, Lower the uh, subframe to give us enough clearance to get to this crank boat. I honestly got farther than I thought I was going to get today. You're probably going to end up uh, going live sometime later tomorrow. Hopefully, we can get this cam out by tomorrow. It is now Saturday night, uh, tomorrow Sunday, so I'll be uploading the video. Um, I was able to look at some of the uh, parts that he brought in. The cam, it's a pretty, uh, pretty decent sized cam. Uh, let me see if I can get it to focus. It's a uh, two. A 242, I believe, 242, 250. Let's see here. Sorry, 240, 252, 657, and 655 lift. Uh, Texas speed, 3.2 camshaft. All right, we got the uh, push rods here. It's a 7, 7.8. Uh, but like I told him, he's going to be running the aftermarket heads. Uh, I'm not sure what brand. And depending on how everything shakes out, uh, I might need to order the uh, proper proper length push rods. Our customer also supplied some head bolts here. So yeah, lots of, uh, he brought lots of good parts. Uh, he also bought factory crank balancer. Um, obviously, you know, we would like to see an aftermarket setup on this, but uh, I guess nothing wrong with running a, uh, a brand new factory uh, Harmonic balance either. Uh, I don't know where the box is for this, but it's uh, supposed to be a 160 degree thermostat. Gonna fix the gasket on that later. But uh, yeah, yeah. I would I would like to uh, I would like to get this car uh, out of here and uh, driving as soon as I can, so that when the parts for the uh, truck start rolling in um, and uh, for the vet, we can start uh, to put those in. Uh, factory H pipe. So like I said, I'm gonna call tonight and we're going to resume tomorrow. All right, and we are back at it. Uh, 
think I'm gonna start from the top down. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take these heads off. That way, I'm not trying to break the torque on them and putting too much stress on the bottom support. Ben is gonna be dropping, dropping a cradle to uh, create some clearance to get to that uh, crank bolt. All right, so I'm gonna go in reverse order of the torque sequence. I believe it's one, two, I think three is over here, and then four. Uh, I'll pull up the chart. Uh, that way, you know, we know for sure. Probably should have pulled the uh, pulled these uh, spark plugs, but they didn't replaced anyway. But typically, I would. But we're gonna just keep keep trucking. Uh, get those out later. It's Sunday, and the goal for today is to have the uh, the uh, cradle dropped, uh, have the cam taken out, and new one installed, front section covered back up, and then just work my way back. Uh, I'm trying to get this car out of here by Wednesday because uh, I'm going to be uh, hitting the road to Maryland uh, for the baby shower. And I feel like the only thing that I'm probably going to be waiting on is going to be the push rods. Only because he ordered a set of 7.8s, like I said, uh, but he's running aftermarket head, uh, aftermarket lifters as well. So I don't know. Uh, hopefully they spec it correctly, but I doubt it. So I'm pretty sure I might have to uh, put, some, uh, put a set of uh, push rods on order. Uh, just to complete everything but you know uh, once those come in it'll be maybe another hour or two worth of work and you know get to tuning Pistons could be prettier. All right, let's move on to the driver's side. Heads are off. One thing I noticed when I took off the intake manifold was uh, had a lot of oil gunk in the uh, intake runners. Uh, I saw he had a cash can set up on it, so I'm not sure if that was like a recent uh, addition to the setup. But you know, I definitely need to keep oil away from from the combustion process definitely is gunking up everything and hurting performance a little bit so i want to give the uh, deck a good clean uh i'll see how much effort it takes to get these uh to get his pistons back in good looking condition probably scrub them just a little bit i'm gonna keep pushing forward here the heads there are gonna have to clean the uh, deck surface on those as well and now for the tricky process, which is going to be to lower the cradle in order to get to the crank bolt. I was thinking, I couldn't recall if I've, I know I've done it with aftermarket headers, but I'm not sure if I've done it with, uh, with a factory setup. You think I'll be able to pull the headers straight up from here? I'm going to give it a shot, see what happens. I think it beats trying to shimmy it down from the bottom, like the usual process. I'll give it a shot, and if it doesn't clear, then yeah, I'll just jack the car back up and drop them from the bottom. Let's give it a shot. So now we've got everything out of the way. 
The last thing to do now is gonna be to drop this front cradle. Oh, I gotta clean up that oil spot. Drop the front cradle, uh, take that uh, crank, crank bolt out, take out the crank pulley, timing chain cover, and get that cam out of there. That will conclude it for this video. I got a couple parts coming in for the Silverado. Probably gonna leave that sitting back burner. I wanna get this out of here as soon as I can, so I'm probably gonna work up until I get to a stopping point, either because I'm waiting on parts or need to put some parts in order. And I think the only thing that's gonna really keep us uh, from uh, getting this out uh, by the next couple of days would be uh, if those push rods don't fit. I know he's waiting on a couple hardwares. He did uh, bring in a uh, fast uh, one or two uh, intake manifold, and that's gonna require the uh, low profile uh, valley cover bolts. Uh, I think he said he already has those, he just didn't bring them in. So yeah, uh, honestly, I think the push rods will be the only thing uh, keeping us from uh, getting this car out of here. I know I feel like I keep talking in circles, but I'm gonna stop here. And on a side note, 1320 did release their uh, video of the uh, Texas 2K 23 uh, earlier this year, and it gives a different perspective of uh, how the uh, runs went uh, with our vet uh, earlier this year. So uh, here is a, the video description or whatever and also uh like you guys know got a baby on the way uh gender reveal in six days uh when is august 20th what's today 12 13 yeah well uh, baby ba uh, baby shower gender reveal gender reveal <laughs> coming up pretty soon and i'm gonna be also adding a ooh, what is that i'm gonna be adding a link to the uh, baby registry as well. It should be in the video description. All right, so if you guys are feeling generous, uh, log on uh, to your Amazon uh, and purchase, you know, a thing or two for your boy. I, I'm deeply gonna appreciate it. All right, thank you all for the love. Thank you for the support. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. And if, if you haven't already, do like the video, share the video, and also hit that subscribe button. All right, and I'll be seeing y'all on the next video.